Well, it's one of the happiest moments in a couple's life, expecting a baby. But what do you do when you find out your child has a dangerous heart condition, which can be fatal, a condition that affects more than 40,000 newborns every year in the U.S.? Tonight, the story of a Tucson couple who lived that nightmare and a doctor who is working to save children from that horrifying fate. Melinda Lorellis and Leo Lucero were overjoyed to find out they're having a baby, their first child, a boy. They were really honestly the best seven weeks of our lives. <laughs> Although Kaden never stopped smiling and looked normal, he was born with congenital heart defect. After open heart surgery, weeks in the hospital, Kaden passed away. He was only seven weeks old. I never experienced something so beautiful in my life and so touching. When you lose your child, it's like a part of you goes with them. Melinda and Leo are not alone. Congenital heart defect is the most common cause of death in newborns. It affects how blood flows through the heart and out to the rest of the body. There was a lot of faith in having him pull through. Just like so many parents, this couple was shocked to find out their perfect child was sick. And according to the Children's Heart Foundation, nearly one in every 100 babies is born with CHD, with minor to severe cases. Tucson pediatric cardiologist Carlos Macias says early detection is key. The detail that we could see now compared to two decades ago, it's, it's incredible. He's referring to this, the fetal echocardiogram, an important test for diagnosing the problem. Doctors can see the baby's heart inside the womb. Another recent development, three and 40 fetal echocardiograms. With technology changing everything, when the child is born, the goal is to have them at the right hospital for immediate treatment. We're able to detect it, we're able to coordinate care, which is important. Um, there's certain heart lesions that that certain doctors are better at fixing, the surgeons. Doctors don't know exactly what causes congenital heart defect, but women at high risk include family history of it, those who have diabetes, and women taking certain medicine. And while babies born in hospitals are screened for it, sometimes they're not always detected. There are some signs you should watch out for. And if it's a normal delivery, they're gone within 48 hours. And a lot of these changes, uh, can occur a week or two after the baby's born where things start changing and then now the baby starts turning blue, now the baby is not gaining weight, now the baby is breathing hard and retracting, you know, it looks like the baby's struggling. All symptoms that may require immediate help. And while baby Caden was an extreme case, Melinda and Leo knew early on, they're sharing his story to raise awareness. I want people to know more about their child not being, you know, necessarily the only one because when I first found out, I did feel like, how did this happen? Where did it come from? And it's not, it's not necessarily something really that anybody does. It just sometimes just happens. And with new advances in technology and treatments, most children with congenital heart defects have a healthy life. If you're starting a family or know someone who is, we have created a checklist that you can take with you to your doctor. Some questions maybe you want to ask if you're at risk. Head to our website, kegun9.com.